Hello and welcome to another video. My name is Deb and this is Deb's Bean. And today I'm going to show you how I made this skirt. I made this skirt completely from scratch. I didn't have a pattern, I just had a vague idea of what I wanted in my head. I knew I wanted the front to have embroidery and I knew I wanted it to be a skirt. Shorts with a flap over the front so it looks like a skirt. So I set out on my mission to make this thing. It was pretty darn tricky. I had to take it completely apart a few times, but I kind of knew already that it was going to be complicated because shorts and pants are extremely difficult to make to get the curve right so that it'll fit properly around your rear. <laughs> I used a pair of pants as a pattern and that worked pretty okay for me. The shorts weren't actually the trickiest part, the waistband was, and getting the skirt to look right. For this video, I decided to keep all of my mistakes in it so that you can see how much trial and error goes, to, goes into making your own pattern. When I was in high school, I had a very great woodworking teacher and the best advice that he ever gave us was a good carpenter knows how to fix their mistakes. And I've taken this advice with me into the rest of my life um, and I definitely use it a lot when sewing because it's very challenging to see where you made a mistake and see exactly how to fix it but it's, I think, a very good exercise for your mind. So let's get right into how I made it. The fabric I used was 60 inches by 85 inches and my sister got it for $3 from the thrift store. I laid it out, folded double, then grabbed some trousers that fit me well. I folded them in half so that the front was on the outside and pulled the crotch seam out. This is important. Try to copy this curve exactly. I then laid the trousers on the fabric at a length I liked and ca traced carefully around. I then went around again, adding an inch seam allowance. I labeled this the front piece and cut it out. For the back pieces, I lay this piece on top and folded the fabric and traced around it, adding an inch to the top and making the crotch curve come out an extra two inches or so. Then I cut this out, too. I laid out my back pieces with the curve facing in and put the front pieces on top the same way, right sides together. Then I clipped the side seams together and sewed and serged that together. Next I flipped one leg inside out and placed it within the other. I matched up the side seams and clipped them together along the curve and sewed and serged around this as well. And I have a very basic pair of shorts. I decided they were too long and cut about 3 inches off the length. I measured the waist measurement and used some scrap fabric to cut a 3 inch wide waistband, which I cut into two pieces, front and back. I serged the top and bottom of the shorts because the fabric frays a lot as it has a loose weave. I then sewed the side seams of the waistband and serged them too. For the skirt of the skirt, I measured a rectangle of the height of my shorts by half the length of the waistband plus 2 inches for a seam allowance. This will be attached to the front of the shorts. After cutting this out, I serged around the skirt rectangle and did a simple rolled hem on each edge. I then hemmed the bottom of the shorts as well. I laid out my skirt and folded it in half. I folded this in half and marked where these folds were. I laid out the fabric and marked some darts, 4 inches down and 3 inches across. I 
I sewed these in place. And here's what it looked like. I laid out my shorts front side up and laid the skirt over top. I flipped the skirt to the side and pinned it along the side seam. I then carefully sewed this down making sure not to sew the leg closed. Then I clipped the top of the skirt to the waist of the shorts and sewed this in place as well. I scooted my waistband over and clipped it in place and sewed it down. I surged around the top of the waistband. Then I chose some elastic that would fit nicely in this casing. I pinned the waistband down and left a gap to feed the elastic through. It would have been better to have sewn the waistband to the wrong side of the shirts first so that there would have been a less visible stitching line. You live, you learn. Using a safety pin, I threaded the elastic through the hole I left and all the way around the waistband. Then I sewed the elastic together and closed the gap. And it looked like this. I tried it on and I didn't like the way the skirt sat the waistband bulged, and the fact that one edge of the skirt was sewn down. So with patience and a stitch ripper, I removed the skirt and the waistband. I also cut down the side seam on one edge to add a zipper. I even removed the skirt darts. I measured the zipper cut I made and added an inch to that measurement. Then I cut a rectangle of fabric with that number by three inches and surged around it. I found the middle of the rectangle and pinned it to the right side of the fabric on the edge of the slit. Then I pinned the other side of the slit right beside that and sewed around it in a tall U formation. I cut down the middle of the slit again, clipping the rectangle. I pulled the massacred rectangle to the other side and clipped it in place to make a nice finished edge. Back to the skirt, I sketched an idea of the design I wanted onto the base and chalk. Then I embroidered it to life. For the moons, I secured the embroidery hoop, thread my needle, and knotted the end. I brought the thread up, then down a short distance away. I brought it up again, following the chalk line, and wrapped it through the previous stitch. And brought it down right beside where I put it up. This is a chain stitch. There are many tutorials out there if mine was unclear. I repeated this pattern around. Embroidery is basically tattoos for clothes, stabbing something with a needle and a bit of color to make it art. For the wave, I did a running stitch, going in and out of the fabric, following a chalk line. This causes my fabric to bunch, so I was careful to smooth it intermittently. A hoop would have been good to use, but I only have a 3 inch one and was tired of having to move it every 20 stitches or so. Next I marked two 2 inch darts into the front of the shorts and two 3 inch darts into the back and sewed them in place. After measuring the waistband, I decided the skirt needed darts again because I do not learn.
I attached the skirt to the shorts. I shortened the waistband to be an inch longer than my new waist measurement. Realizing my folly, I removed the skirt to remove the darts, and I instead did a gathered skirt. I clipped the waistband to the inside of my skirt, and I sewed and then surged it into place. I folded about a quarter inch down from the top of the waistband and clipped that down. I cut some elastic to half my waist measurement and pinned it into the seam of the waist. I sewed these down. Then I carefully pinned the waistband down to cover all raw edges. The elastic is going in the back, so I carefully pinned around it so I wouldn't sew through it. I sewed around. I pulled the elastic out of the edge and sewed it in place. Then I cut it while stretching it. Then I sewed in the zipper. I stitched the waistband edges close by hand. I tried on the skirt again and decided it was too long. So I cut just above the embroidery and used that as a measurement to cut off another chunk. Then I pinned the embroidered bit to what was left of the skirt right sides facing and sewed and top stitched it down. Then I cut the shorts an inch below the skirt and hemmed them. Lastly, I attached two hook and eye closures above the zipper. And I was finally finished! And that's how I made a skirt. After taking it apart many times, I finally came out with a product that I liked. I still think that it's a bit too short for me. I maybe should have not gone straight for cutting off five inches at the end. I should have maybe cut off like a little bit less and seen how that looked. But if I wear leggings underneath, I'll certainly be comfortable wearing them. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed this product project. Let me know if you try to make one. I am really enjoying putting embroidery on clothing items lately. It just gives it a spark of life that it didn't have before and it's also very satisfying and fun to do. Embroidering that is. I'll see you next time. Have a lovely day. Goodbye!